Forward by Lloyd Larson. Natalie Sleet's classic Christmas anthem asked the question, were you there on that first Christmas night? Since that piece became the cornerstone for this Christmas work, I thought a great deal about the question. Obviously time and location remove any of us from actually being present on the night of Christ's birth. Yet in the mystery of God's holy ways, all of us, in a sense, were there. God chose ordinary people, Joseph and Mary, as the vessels for fulfilling the incarnation plan, God becoming human. God also chose to reveal the fulfillment of that plan after Christ's birth to shepherds, the most common of people, and to magi, sophisticated and educated individuals. One can only speculate about the fullest meaning of that strategy, but I believe it was to convey to us that the Messiah was a gift for all people, regardless of where we reside on the socioeconomic scale. And I believe that the inclusion of Joseph and Mary in such a significant role underscores the importance that each of us have as vehicles for sharing the message of Christ's birth to our world. I think the answer to Natalie Sui's question is, yes, I was there. And so were you. The eternal and timeless nature of God places us in Bethlehem on that Christmas night as we experience anew its joys through the eyes of children, aged saints, enduring carols, and holy scripture. Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. It was a special night, that first Christmas night, a night like none other before or since. Come, let us worship and adore the Christ of Christmas. scriptures record that God's chosen people were living in a world of darkness and bondage, but Isaiah prophesies that an eternal light of hope and promise would soon arrive. The people walking in darkness shall see a great light. The people
in time, the long-awaited promised one did come, shattering the dark night of hopelessness and dismay for the chosen people of Israel. But he did not come as many had anticipated, for God chose two common individuals to fulfill the divine plan as the earthly parents of the Messiah, a carpenter named Joseph and a young maiden named Mary. Caesar Augustus had issued a decree that a census be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone was to return to their ancestral home for the census. Joseph and Mary went to the town of Bethlehem, the city of David, because Joseph belonged to the house and line of King David. While they were there, Jesus was born. Thank you. 
just outside of Bethlehem, there were shepherds in the fields keeping watch over their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, the quiet routine of an ordinary watch was shattered as the night became like none other they had ever experienced. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone brightly around them. They were terrified. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, the sky was filled with a great company of the heavenly host, appearing with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace and goodwill to all. left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened and which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off to Bethlehem where they found Mary and Joseph and the newborn baby who was lying in the manger.
When the shepherds had seen the newborn Christ child, they spread the word about what they had witnessed. They shared the news about what had been told to them by the angel and what they had seen with their own eyes. All who heard them were amazed at what the shepherds said. But Mary, the chosen mother of Jesus, treasured all of those things and pondered them deeply in her heart. The shepherds returned to their fields, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, which had been just as the angel had told them. beginning was the Word, and the Word, meaning Jesus, was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. In him was life, and that life was the light for all people. There came a man who was sent from God by the name of John. He came to bear witness to the light, the true light that gives light to everyone. This radiant, holy light of God, Jesus, the Messiah, was now in the world. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Yet to those who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. The word became flesh and lived among us. We have seen his glory the glory of the one and only Son of God, full of grace and truth.
Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem seeking him. Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. After consulting with the chief priests and teachers of the law, Herod sent the Magi to Bethlehem. Go and search for the child. When you have found him, report back to me so that I too may go and worship him. They went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them, stopping over the place where the child was. Entering the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, the Magi returned to their home by another route.
were you there on that first Christmas night? In many ways, you were there, and so was I. From shepherds to magi, the most common of people to the most sophisticated, we have all been invited to kneel before the Christ child who comes to free us from the chains that bind us. God has chosen ordinary people like us in the same manner that Joseph and Mary were chosen to share the love of Christ with our world. On this day, like that first Christmas night, we are humbled by the incarnation story that God would come to us in human form. Celebrate the great news of a miraculous Christmas night. Invite Christ to be born anew in your heart. Sing with the angels, shepherds, magi, and people of faith. Glory to God on high. Glory to the newborn King.